Hi everyone, welcome back. In the previous video, we were successful in building and testing our DIY Arduino ESP8266 PLC. In this video, we will test the HMI LCD port and then the analog input using Open PLC. Let's get started. Kindly subscribe if you've not done that already and also press on the notification bell. This way, you'll always be notified whenever I upload new videos. Okay, so this is our circuitry. We have the LCD connected to the LCD port of our board. We have the pump that is connected to the first output of our board, which is the first relay. We have the start stop push buttons for starting and stopping the pump. We have the variable resistor that is used to vary or change the voltage getting to the inputs of our analog pin. And then we have the power supply, which is 12 volts, also connected to the system. OK. To start with, we will need to connect our LCD. We take off the ESP and remove these two jumpers. This will disable two of the output relays. Okay, so this is the LCD one end is connected. We will now connect the other end of the connectors to our PLC port, LCD port. Okay, connection is done. We will now move on and fix back the ESP. Great. This is our LCD. This input, which is 0 0.1, is connected to the start, and 0 0.2 is connected to the stop. And then we have the variable resistor connected to A0. And then this is the cable connecting to the 3.3 volts and this cable is connected to ground okay great this lamp is connected to the first relay okay we will move on and write our code we will now do a variable declaration our first variable to declare is the start assigned to 0 0.0 0 0.1 sorry stop assigned to 0 0.2 and then we have our pump assigned to q0.0 .0. And then we have our pump state that will be external because we need to read it from our sketch. We will now bring our rail, bring the next rail that is the right rail, and now add our open contact, assign it the start, and then another open contact, assign it the stop, a quell assign it the pump another coil that will assign it the pump state and then we wire it up quickly we will now add our hold on contact and then assign it the pump and this is how it looks like Now let's try and code our LCD or the HMI interface. We click on the plus and then move to Arduino extension. Double click on this. And we can see we have this interface with a sketch setup and then sketch loop. We add the variable that we need to read from the other side of our logic. And then that variable was pump underscore S, that is status. And then the type is a bool. Okay, great. We move on and then add our libraries. So we add the include statement. So we say hash include. We add the wire library. And then we add the I2C LCD library. Okay, finally, this is how it looks like. We have our libraries added. 
and then we have our variables all declared great we now have our setup we have the initialization of our LCD and then we have some constant also written for the LCDs okay so we have our sketch in the main loop we look at the pump and then we read the status from the logic and when the status is true we show on and when it's false we show zero we also update our analog signal now we now compile I choose the pot and then click on transfer to the PLC transfer done and now when I click on the start we can see the status showing on and then when I press the stop we can see the status showing off working perfectly now we need to test our port and then when I vary the resistor we can see that the data coming in is changing based on the voltage applied to the analog input and we have our final value 1024 working great remember we are reading directly from the Arduino so our max will be 1024 great what if we want to control the relay with the a maximum value from the analog signal to do this I add a greater than or equal to comparator and then changes output to 0 0.3 and then add an additional output and then I assign this output 0, 0.0 okay and I add another variable because I need to read the status of the analog signal I change it to integer and then I name it as val so value from the analog input and then I need to assign address which is the input word 0 and I add a tag assigned the val to this tag and then connect it to the first input of the comparator and then assign a constant of 1000 to it so when we go above 1000 the output of the comparator will come on okay so I assign an output I bring an output coil and then assign the pump the new pump to it and then wire it quickly great this is all what we need to do we click on the compile and then transfer to our PLC great transfer done and you can see that when I vary the potentiometer the value changes and if I hit the value above the 1000 we can see the light coming on but remember these values are not corresponding to the one with open PLC okay so what if you want to display the values that open PLC is actually reading from the analog port to do this we add a new variable and give it an external variable so that we can read this value at the sketch end okay it's also going to be an integer and I'll bring a label and then this time is going to be an output so I change it to output and then assign the new variable to it and then connect it to where we read the data to now this data can be sent to this section of our code so I now assign it here to as well and it's val 0 okay it's an integer 
and then now I have to equate this one to where I was reading the analog signal to okay so this is going to be val 0 so that I can read the signal into this variable that is AO underscore data and then do the same here read it into AO underscore data great this is all what you need to do I click on compile and then we can see the values that we are above thousand so the light was on now we are below thousand the light goes off I go back again above thousand and we can see the lamp comes on working perfectly this is the actual data that is being compiled by the open PLC it's working great you can do a lot of projects out of this thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial bye bye